Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is packed with everything from cleaning motivation to bedside nursery organization to postpartum care essentials to fitness and health after giving birth. So I kind of just jam packed it all in. I figured it would be nice to have a video that was packed with tons of mommy motivation. I always love watching other moms take care of their babies and clean the house and just show how they kind of juggle everything from day to day. And I'm obviously in a period where my baby is super tiny, so getting anything accomplished is a win for me. I have to take Oliver's tiny little naps throughout the day to tackle my small tasks. And then I also have my mom coming over once in a while to watch him while I get some stuff done. Newborn life is not for the week, so let's go ahead and get this started. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today, and I hope you get tons of motivation to get something tackled heading into the new year. In a cabin out of One of the biggest things on my to-do list today was getting our master bathroom deep cleaned. It hadn't really been deep cleaned since we came home from the hospital and it was in desperate need of some attention. So I went ahead and stripped the sheets off of our bed and threw them in the washer so that when we're done with everything today, I can go ahead and put those back on and we can fall asleep with fresh sheets. And with the newborn, I've been having to wash my sheets like two or three times a week because he will either spit up or something crazy will happen and that's kind of just part of it. But as far as the bathroom, I'm just using my Lysol disinfectant spray in the mango scent. This stuff is so good, it smells delicious, and you cannot beat a good cleaning product that disinfects, but also smells really good. The basket on the counter is full of all of the things that I use postpartum and I'm going to be explaining all of that here in just a second. I told y'all in my hospital bag video that I would let you know what I used and what I didn't and I kind of did the same thing with my bedside nursery. I didn't want to share with y'all too much before I was experienced. So now that I have a little experience under my belt, I'm going to be sharing all of those things with y'all today. And getting back into the swing of things postpartum was a lot more difficult than I imagined it would be. But we're surviving and baby Oliver is loved and fed, so right now that's what's most important. But I have let a lot of things go in order to spend time with him. So heading into the new year, get ready for tons of insane cleaning motivation videos. I cannot wait to tackle lots of the things that we've let slide here lately. And I'm also excited to be sharing with y'all what I'm doing health-wise to get back to my pre-baby weight and stay plenty hydrated for breastfeeding. So throughout the next few months, I'll be keeping y'all updated with how that's going. And today I'm actually going to share with y'all how I'm starting that journey and how it's going. I wanted to pop on here real quick and talk about the Fit Track Dara Scale. I have been loving this thing after having baby Oliver because I'm not only trying to get back on track with my weight, I'm trying to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight, but I'm also trying to increase my milk supply. So I'm trying to stay plenty hydrated and eat lots of protein. And this scale is seriously awesome. You just step right here on these little silver dots and your weight obviously pops up right here in LED light, but it also connects to your smartphone and it shows you 17 different metrics. So I have been loving looking at the hydration levels and the protein levels to see if I'm plenty hydrated and have plenty of protein. And I will check periodically throughout the day and then when it's at its max amount, I will go ahead and pump just to make sure I'm getting plenty of milk for baby Oliver. And then also I'm trying to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight and I'm almost there, but then I figured, you know, why not go further? And so I'm looking forward to using this scale clear into the new year to create some new year's resolutions. Um, they have tons and tons of different metrics. They have, let me pull them up real quick. 
They have not only the protein one and the hydration one, obviously it tells you your weight, but it also tells you your body mass index, weight control, weight without fat, standard weight, body water, bone mass, fat mass, body fat percentage, um, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat index, muscle mass, muscle rate, protein mass, protein rate, basal metabolic rate, metabolic age, which is awesome. So 17 different metrics all included on this scale. All you do is you step on it, it connects straight to your smartphone, and it also tracks your progress. So if you want to get on here one day and then get on the next day, it tracks daily so you can see how much weight you've lost and also how all of the other metrics are doing. So this scale is awesome. If you are interested in getting yourself a Fit Track Dara scale, I will have a link in my description box below for 25% off. And thank you so much to Fit Track for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I told y'all in my hospital bag video that I was gonna share with y'all my postpartum essentials and what I used and what I didn't. And this was all of the things that I used every single day for like two and a half weeks straight. Um, these things are awesome. This is the Freedom Mom cooling maxi pads. I believe they're called ice, yeah, instant ice maxi pads. These were awesome. I went through like three or four boxes of those. And the hospital did send me home with some too, so I went through a ton of those. I also used these big adult diapers for like the first week or so, and those were awesome. And then when I was done with those, I switched over to these nighttime pads. And then when I didn't need those anymore, I just switched over to these little panty liners and kind of dwindled off. I'm not really needing this basket much anymore, but um, just for those of you out there that are looking for things that you're gonna need if you're going into labor soon, this is all the things that I needed every single day for like two weeks. Um, I did purchase the Freedom Mom Perry bottle because the other one that the hospital gave me, I will show you, it was just like this little clear one and the water would run down on you. And with this one, it's angled at the top, so it made it really easy and a lot more sanitary. These are the things that I didn't really use that much of. I used a couple of these. I didn't really see that they worked great. Um, they're the perennial cooling pad liners. Um, I didn't notice much of a difference with those. I hear a lot of people say really good things about them though, so. They're probably good, I just didn't care for them. This I did use a lot. It was the, um, let's see. It's called the Perennial Healing Foam. And I would put this on, obviously the diaper. Then I would put this on on that and then squirt some of this on there. And then this stuff is Heaven Scent, the Dermaplast. It's to kind of numb everything down there. And I went through several bottles of that. So that's kind of what I used postpartum. I didn't use anything else. This was everything that I needed. I used these and these a lot in the very first probably week or two. And then after that, I kind of dwindled off to just using these. But I used this every single time I went to the bathroom. I used this every single time and this every single time. So there you go. That's what I used postpartum. Now I'm headed into Oliver's nursery. I needed to straighten up in here and take out all of the dirty diapers, wipe down his dresser because once in a while he'll surprise us when we go to change his diaper. So I have to constantly keep that wiped down and then I just needed to run a vacuum in here.
We were completely out of diapers in the changing area, so I'm just restocking that. And I usually don't let it get that low, but we had been super busy, so his diaper genie was completely full. His diaper drawer was empty. He had very few clean burp rags. So today was the day to just reset and get everything stocked up and ready to go. This cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. Now I'm just going to put our sheets back on. I always love having these cozy flannel sheets on our bed throughout the Christmas and New Year season. And once I get this room straightened up, we're going to tackle the bedside nursery together. I've had it semi-functional for a while, but now that I have a better routine with baby Oliver, I know exactly what I need and how much of it. So we're going to go ahead and organize his little three-tier cart and underneath his bassinet to get that bedside nursery nice and organized so that's a lot more useful to us. Going into the new year, I always like to make a list of things that need to be deep cleaned or replaced. And one of those things on the top of my list this year is our duvet. I would love to get a big fluffy white comforter to replace it so I don't have to fight with it every time we wash it. And another thing I've already started collecting are some new bath towels. And I like to try to replace these every year, but up until now, since we got married almost four years ago, I've always just bought new bath towels and added them to the towels we already have. And this year I want to declutter and just get rid of absolutely everything that we don't need or that is ruined or dingy and just replace it with fresh. And then I also want to organize our bathroom closet to be more functional once I do get all of those new towels. Ever since we brought Oliver home from the hospital, I've been wanting to organize a little bedside nursery right here so that when I get up in the middle of the night to feed him, it's really easily accessible. And so I purchased this little cart off of Amazon. It's a three-tier cart and it has really nice wheels that roll super well on carpet. So I'm excited to set this up with all of his burp rags and passies and just all of the essentials that we're gonna need in the middle of the night. And then I'm just gonna roll in right here between the dresser and the bassinet. And then that way, when it comes time to get up in the middle of the night, I can plop one foot out of bed, roll this over, and grab whatever I need. So let's go ahead and get that organized. And then I also wanna make really good use of that bottom shelf on his bassinet. Right now I have his boppy and some swaddles, which that might actually stay like that because that's worked pretty well for us. And then right now I have his snuggle me in his bassinet and we don't keep this in here. 
but right now I'm just storing it in there. And then a sound machine there, a sound machine there. We just fill up our room with sound machines at night so that <laughs> it's really nice and covered in white noise. We also have that little air purifier over there which kind of works as a sound machine too. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this organized. I have pretty much everything that I want to add to the cart right here. I have some diapers that I've already filled up in a plastic container right here. I purchased these little plastic containers from at home. So there's two of those. I already showed you all this diaper caddy. I need to organize it because we've destroyed it. But I just like to plop this under here and then if we have a really bad diaper in the middle of the night, we can pull out his little thing here and change his diaper. Otherwise, I want to just keep this in his rolling cart over there and if it's just like a PV diaper, I can just put him on the bed and change his diaper really quick. So I'm going to keep this here. I'm going to get it more organized and then I have some zipper sleepers here. I have a couple of blankets, some burp rags, some passies, socks, hand mittens because he loves to pull his hair and then scream. <laughs> Uh, I have his little nose Frida, so just all of the essentials that we're going to need in the middle of the night. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in a little plastic basket and then organize it on the cart. Okay, I think I have this set up how I want it. I just have his burp cloths right here. I have the cloth diaper ones right here. These are super absorbent and I love using those. And then I just have a couple of these muslin ones. And I'm gonna have to replace things on this cart daily. So whenever I get up in the morning and I'm throwing stuff in the laundry, I will have to um, replace stuff on this cart. There's no way around that. Um, I have my little lactation cookies here. These are my favorite. They're from Target and this is just the oatmeal chocolate chip cookie flavor. These are so delicious and they work so well. They come in a big box like this and you can actually get them on Amazon for a couple bucks cheaper but I swear by these. I've been using them since he was born and they work really good. Um, over here in this little basket I just have his Desitin, some Vapo Rub, his Nose Frida. Um, he has an electric Nose Frida too that I'm going to throw in here in just a minute. Um, and then his little lotion. I have all of his passies here, his Wubba Nub, and then a couple of bibs. don't usually use bibs at night, but Will likes to. He likes to put them over him while he's feeding him. I just say, just change his outfit afterwards. <laughs> Same difference. Um, on this second row here, I've got his zipper sleepers, um, some extra diapers. We like to change his diaper with the diaper caddy if he has a blowout, but if he just has a simple PP diaper, we can just reach over, grab a diaper, and change him on the bed, and that just makes our life a whole lot easier. And then down here on the bottom shelf, I just have extra socks and some of those little hand mittens. Um, he likes to pull his hair and then scream, and so we like to put those on his hands unless he has a sleeper on like this where it covers his little hand. And then I just have some extra blankets here and then some extra wipes just in case. So I think I have this set up pretty good and how I think it will benefit us best. And then over here on my nightstand, I just always keep my water bottle, my chapstick, some Advil, and there's usually a bunch of other stuff here too. I've cleaned it up a little bit, but I think I am gonna keep the bottom of his bassinet like this with a boppy and some swaddles. A lot of his swaddles are in the washer right now, so I'm gonna restock that for him. Um, this little cuddle me thing, or snuggle me, usually stays in the living room because he'll take naps on that during the day when I can supervise him. And then over here we just need to clean up his little diaper caddy.
Okay, now we have this organized as well. It's got all of his size one diapers, his Desitin, his butt paste, his um, wipes, and his little changing pad. So I'm just gonna slip this back under this bench for when we have middle of the night blowouts. Otherwise, we're gonna use his little cart over here that now has everything that we need. So that is awesome. I wanted to finish off this video by going back in the master bathroom to clean the toilet and the tub. And we're also gonna be going back in the living room to straighten things up and vacuum. I'm gonna be doing a deep clean with me after the holidays to get our house back in tip top shape. So after the new year, it'll probably be the 2nd of January when that video comes out. I'm gonna be scrubbing our master shower then. So I'm not gonna do that in today's video, but I have been taking lots of bubble baths at night. Um, so I wanted to get that all cleaned up and then I'm just gonna call it a day. It felt so good after getting the nursery cleaned up and stocked and the bedside nursery organized and the bathroom cleaned and the living room cleaned up. It's the little things when you're home all day every day. It makes the biggest difference in my days when our house is clean. I know I've still got lots of Christmas vibes going on in this video, but it's been a long year for us and this season is so special and magical, so I decided to drag it out a little longer than I usually do this year. And I hope y'all are enjoying all of the Christmas music as much as I am. But for the tub here, I'm just taking that same Lysol mango spray to wipe everything down. The edges of this tub get super dusty, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that taken care of. Since I have been taking lots of baths in here recently, I've just been leaving this huge cup in here with a sponge inside of it. And that way every time I get in, I can just wipe everything down. And then when I get out, I can kind of scrub things down and just for daily upkeep. But it hadn't been deep cleaned in a while, so that's what I'm doing right here. That's what Christmas can
for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Now that the bathroom is done for now, we're going to head into the living room. And it wasn't a huge disaster today, but I did have a few gifts that I needed to put away um, for Oliver. So I'm going to take those back to his nursery. I'm going to just fluff up these couches and put the ottoman back. I'm going to vacuum. And then I did want to show you all my little nursing station over there by the love seat. I have that little pink basket there full of all of the goodies that I need when I'm nursing or pumping. And it's just been really handy. And I've actually claimed that little square on the love seat as my seat forever. <laughs> That's the seat where I sit every single time when I come in here to hold Oliver or pump or do anything really even if we're just watching movies and it's so funny to me because I never sat in that spot before we had him but it's just the most comfortable place for me now. Oh it's such a charm got you up in my arms there's nobody at the door. Anytime I need to pump or feed Oliver, I will sit here on the love seat because there's a plug back there and I have my breast pump plugged in. I purchased this little pink basket from At Home and I just filled it up with some burp rags and some lactation cookie bites, um, my nipple shields, my nipple cream, my nipple pads, and then some pacifiers for Oliver. And anytime I feel like I need to throw something else in here that I might need, I will throw it in this basket and it's been super handy to just be able to reach over and grab what I need. And then I'll usually have some blankets over there. I just cleaned up in here so they're not there anymore. But I usually have a stack of blankets over there, some for Oliver, some for me, just so it's nice and cozy. And we can sit there and watch TV and feed or pump. And some kind of love, my friend. Pick up some candy cane. I started to use my Dyson on the ottoman to vacuum it up and then it died. So I broke out my tried and true Walmart vacuum to finish up in here and I actually like this one better for our shag rug in the living room anyways because it has a little bit stronger of a suck and it gets a little bit deeper. So we're just going to go ahead and vacuum up in here and then we will be done. It's just you and me tonight, I'll spend all this Christmas with you. enjoyed today's video and got lots of motivation trying to clean the house and plan meals and take care of babies and work a job is so much work and I definitely did not give moms enough credit until I became one it is a lot to juggle but at the end of the day there is nothing more fulfilling than knowing you spent your entire day taking care of your family make sure y'all stop back by next week for some insane cleaning motivation and I will see y'all then bye